Well, um, I'm Patrick Lemieux and um, co-CEO of uh, Shroombloom. I'm Isabella Lemieux and I'm also co-CEO and uh, founder of Shroombloom. So we're, uh, we've been mushroom growers for over 15 years and uh, we've started multiple ventures in the mushroom space. And now we're doing Shroombloom and uh, we're really excited to be part of the scene and the space and how fast it's developing and we see ourselves as uh, playing a, an important role in the development of all this. So uh, Shroom Bloom is the first psychedelic company dedicated 100% to the cultivation of psilocybin mushrooms in a GMP compliant uh, facility. Beautiful. And so you mentioned that, um, <clears throat> you know, you've got previous experience with mushrooms and cultivating. Do you want to walk us through what that looked like in the past? Yeah, we developed Accutic mushrooms. Um, like we, we had experience with uh, psilocybin mushrooms a long time ago, like as a hobby, and it inspired this whole company that we created, Accutic mushrooms, that grows uh, shiitake mushrooms. So we had an idea of what kind of growing systems we wanted, and um, innovated a, like a new type of growing technique. Again, inspired by the Cubensis uh, experience, and so we developed. We, we, we looked on the market and there was no equipment to be able to, uh, to do what we wanted to do. So we basically started from scratch and um, designed our own systems. And now they're functional and uh, really awesome technology. We have, um, <clears throat> we were using a gateway PLC. So it's like in the cloud AI, um, self learning uh, or adaptive learning uh, software. It's got like a hundred high-tech sensors and anyways, it, it's, it's really really awesome system and it allows us to control really the climate and variations of climate for in very small like um, like for evenly for all units so that we can reproduce uh, growing conditions so the idea is to use it with the cell sided mushrooms and be able to uh, with, with this control over, you know, humidity, CO2, and um, uh, ventilation and temperature, be able to uh, increase the production of psilocybin inside the mushrooms. Uh, so to have, you know, more, more potent mushrooms. So like the kind of the idea is, you know, it's a 30 pod system. We have custom parameters for each pod, grow the batches and then um, you know, send a sample of each to Numinous for analysis of the compounds. And then based on the results, you know, tweak another 30 batch and, and uh, get it going like that. So that, that's kind of like our R&D program because we've done all the R&D, like the systems are up and running and you know, that, that part of the tech is complete. So you know, our, our R&D will be you know, focusing on increasing psilocybin uh, content within the, the mushrooms. Perfect. Um, so I guess before we jump into, you know, the details, do you want to almost give the overall picture of like exactly what Shroom Bloom is, um, you know, what, what market niche you're addressing and kind of where you are in the business, um, business path to get there? Yeah, so we're focused on just one thing. So it's, it's very complicated thing, but it's really easy to wrap your head around because it's just growing the mushrooms, right? But uh, like we look in the space and it, it's really awesome what everybody's doing and you know, there's so much diversity and everybody's taking different angles and we believe that you know, there, there's room for everyone and, and we're really excited to see what's gonna come out of the space. And, but we, we really like mushrooms and we've liked mushrooms since the mid 90s. So we're, we're really hyper focused on you know, doing that. And, and we see like in the scene that you know, we, we're talking to companies that you know, there, there's starting to be shortages already of psilocybin uh, for research and clinics and whatnot. And, um, you know, we, this is why we decided to do this because we've, you know, knowing the space and knowing, you know, what we know about psychedelics and our experience with it, we, we figured, you know, for sure there's gonna be shortages. So let's jump on board and make sure like the industry can continue forward and keep momentum and keep accelerating without being bottlenecked by lack of supply of mushrooms. So, so yeah, so we jumped on board and now we're using sure. our existing tech to participate and uh, get, get, keep this momentum going. 
And so when, uh, so if, if somebody is kind of like, you know, new to investing in the psychedelic space and they're thinking to themselves, okay, where is the demand for psychedelic mushrooms? Like, is it me calling a guy and getting a bag delivered or like, where is the legal demand for a company to kind of step in and be operating and providing this? Do you want to maybe get some insights into that? Yeah. Uh, well, so, um, Right now, we're uh, working on getting our license, and we're uh, working with Numinous uh, to get our Health Canada license. And so we're looking at uh, developing this at a really large scale. We have the technology that is developed for scale. We have the overseas manufacturing. Um, all of this technology was developed in-house. And uh, we also um, have the laboratory uh, to, uh, to do this. So. The way that we see ourselves moving in the space is by uh, working with other extraction labs and uh, clinical um, researchers because, uh, as Patrick did mention, there are already starting to be shortages and uh, wait lists. And uh, we have noticed that there are um, companies already looking at cultivating uh, their own mushrooms just to address that um, difficulty in the market. and. Uh, and the thing with uh, with what we're doing is that we're actually highly cost effective, and uh, we had developed that model with uh, our initial venture in uh, mushroom cultivation and cultivating mushrooms as a commodity. So we are hyper focused as being an industrial operation to uh, work at scale with really high margins and uh, to be able to supply uh, a product that makes sense for the market. So um, I think that's key, and that will ex also accelerate, um, you know, uh, all of the development uh, and uh, capital being deployed, you know, just to, to get this going really fast. You know, we're essentially like, a, you know, the way that I see our, the, the way that we see ourselves, it's like we're, you know, kind of like the really fast shift that's coming in, you know, with all of this tech and, and IP that's ready to scale with overseas manufacturing you know, at the perfect moment, you know, so that we can take the industry and move it on to the next step. And uh, I think there were a key factor in that. So if you, if you were to kind of compare, um, you know, your operations and your growing methods and modalities with what, it, what might be considered the standard and kind of benchmark it, like, is there a way that you can kind of you know, indicate towards this is how much faster we can grow or this is how much cheaper we can grow or a higher quality? Like, what are those What are those definitions or barometers of quality and higher ROI for you guys? Well, the industry right now is at its infancy. I mean, everything has been done, has been done, you know, or most of it underground in the black market. And it's you know smaller volumes, not GMP compliant, and uh, kind of like Home Depot equipment, kind of strapped together to try and, and get it get it working. And, and and we understand that space. We've been you know informing ourselves on forums and whatnot. We know what's going on, and it's it, the industry is a long way from where we're to. It's a long way from that to getting to where we're at, it, and. Um, we, that, that's what motivated us to do this is we looked at the industry right now and thought, you know, this is, this is they're, they're far from being able to supply what everybody's projecting, right? Like people are saying, uh, you know, the industry is going to be worth so many millions and so many years and whatnot. And, you know, well, where are the mushrooms going to come from, right? And so, you know, that's we're, we're bringing our expertise there and, you know, super high-tech systems, you know, where you can actually control everything in a very stable way. And we're essentially, you know, at the leading edge of ag tech, you know, where you see a lot of investment in that space, vertical farming, but, um, you know, we, we're, we're disrupting already the uh, mushroom growing space in, in all aspects, not just uh, psilocybin mushrooms. And so, you know, we, we also do it in a cost-effective way and where we, we always look at gaining a lot of traction and momentum, you know, very pragmatic in our approach. So I think that we're kind of that backbone in the industry, you know, where we can uh, create some, uh, you know, uh, foundation to it. And, and yeah. also, it's not just about like growing the mushrooms, you know, because 
growing magic mushrooms, it, it is easy. It's one of the easier mushrooms to grow. But, you know, scaling that cultivation at a higher level, that, that's the hard part. And also uh, having a product that's very standardized where it has a, you know, like if somebody wants, a, you know, a high level of psilocybin for extracting psilocybin, they want to have a mushroom that, that has always kind of the same levels and of psilocybin and, and not have a variance in material constantly. So we, we can produce that. So that, that's the idea is to give like a really high quality product that was grown in a GMP compliant factory to, to facilitate the, the extraction process. For sure. And so with your facility right now, is this one that you're going to transition over from the old business? Are you making a new one or is it all completely ready to go right now? Uh, no, well, at Acupink Mushroom, we have an 8,000 square foot facility, and literally five minutes away, we have a 5,000 square foot facility dedicated uniquely to shrooms.